I want to welcome you all back into the session, especially those um, who are joining for the first time in this expert level. So welcome back, everyone. So I believe those who are for the first time joining this session in expert level. So uh, I believe you have gone through uh, if you needed the beginner level and advanced level. So I can see some of you are still joining. So I will let you guys a few more seconds to join and settle down. Today we will we'll be mainly talking about expert level overview. So what we will cover, how we will conduct our uh, this level and all the stuff. Please uh, do not hesitate to ask any question uh, that might come to your mind. So the main uh, objectives of this level will be we will focus more on on practical use of NinjaScript programming. So we learn expert knowledge of NinjaScript programming for uh, NinjaTrader 8 trading platform. And we will try to avoid focusing on c -sharp knowledge. We will focus more on, you know, the NinjaScript programming itself. And there will be lots of complex writing, reading to and from Excel previously. In advanced level, we learned about you know, using in CSV, .csv or .txt file and all the stuff. But this time we'll take it a level further and we'll go into that. But we'll go all the headings in more in details in a few minutes. And also we will gain knowledge about add-ons and how to, you know, checks uh, from server and all the stuff. So uh, also we will learn about complex order and we will be talking about, you know, ATM related programming stuff as well and that will be at the end uh, we will custom program a complex ninja trader edit strategy so that you understand you, you know how to actually deal with and program a very complex uh, ninja trader edit strategy i'll be very honest with you some of you guys are really really good if you were with us in previous levels so uh, i i kind of know some of you are really really good and you have achieved a lot and if you're for the first time and if you have gone through previous levels online that's absolutely fine but as we said always this course of three different levels are designed uh, with somebody who didn't have any knowledge at all on NinjaScript programming. So you start from the beginner level and that's how you learn. Okay, so let's let's move into um, our different topics which we'll be covering. Now we will be talking about today. This this topic we will cover today at the end after we you know finish our overview. So we need to understand how effectively we can use Ninja Trader 8 help guide. So we'll, we'll talk about where to find it, different sections and how to use it during custom programming and benefits of using it for a new NinjaScript programmer. So if you had been doing this, if you know where to find it, uh, absolutely fine, but I will, I will cover it, um, you know, for everyone uh, in this session. And uh, eventually we'll have a session for a read from and write to Excel file. So I kind of touched a little bit on this topic while I was, you know, going through the objectives. So in advanced level, we have learned how to read and write from a .csv or .txt file. Now Excel file, um, you can actually do it. You can write to and read from a Excel file. This is a little bit complex. Uh, there is, you need to add some, uh, you know, additional namespace and all this stuff. So that's why we have kept this topic in expert level. So after you know this, you can literally, um, you know, read from and write to an Excel file. Okay. And in this topic, you know, sometimes um, we'll discuss about why actually you need to do that because there are a few projects uh, like strategy indicator where you actually have got some formula you need to, you know, um, set in that Excel file. So you just want to use them existing formula. You want to use them and, you know, manipulate those values. And that's how you want to reuse them within your Ninja, you know, indicator or strategy. So I don't want to go into details today because we are just going through the overview of this level. We, we will discuss this when we actually uh, go to that session. The most important part actually uh, will be this. This is additional data series. This is used quite regularly, to be honest, in any uh, complex and also like advanced level uh, indicator or strategy. So quite frequently use them and we will be discussing about why we actually use them 
uh, we will talk about is add data series, you know, definition, different syntaxes of that. And also we'll talk about buzzing programs in how to use them in your script and also different other, you know, uh, press release knowledge and bar service. So that is going to be really, really helpful because this is used uh, quite regularly in uh, custom programming. On the next topic, we will talk about how to add custom bar type. There will be many occasions if you are basically, you know, programming something a little bit complex where you want to use custom bar type from maybe from different uh, vendors or maybe uh, you have already created one so you want to use them within your script so that is when uh, you may need to use them and there is a way how to identify the custom by name and id and we will be also talking about how to add custom bar type within your script so that all will be covered in in that topic this is uh, a bit complex topic but we will cover it we'll try our best to make it uh, quite simple for you there will be many occasions when you want to use you know existing atm strategy in your uh, chart trader and you want to use them within your strategy to perform some water submissions and all the stuff and also we'll be talking about how to create atm strategy as well uh, so there will be different methods uh, used for them and we'll be also talking about how to retrieve different properties of selected atm strategy and automatically include you know time in foes uh, water quantity from chart data so this is going to be really, really interesting, a little bit complex, but if you understand, because when we discussed any topic, we kind of, you know, focus more on the concept. It's like a story. So when you write your program or when you go through your script, it should tell you a story, what is going on. If you understand the concept, it's going to be super easy for you. So after this, uh, we will be talking about render custom drawing to a chart. This is a really, really big topic. So, uh, but we will, as we said, we'll focus more on Ninja script programming. So, for example, we will discuss about, you know, how to use this method and also a uh, basic idea about chart control, chart scale based on, on render. And also we'll be talking about how to use a render target to custom draw, uh, you know, drawing objects on chart. And for example, during that session, we will be uh, looking at you know, how to draw a rectangle and ellipse uh, on chart so that you can use that knowledge to you know, render any other different shapes and um, objects on your chart. And after this topic, we'll be talking about on render target change method and we will be talking about why do we actually need to use that method and that method in ninja skip so this is quite simple if you understand correctly the next topic we'll be covering uh is about use of unmanaged approach so uh, this is also complex topic and this is not for beginner or advanced level even sometimes uh, if you're an expert level uh, trainee um, you need to spend more time, you need to understand how it works to actually master this unmanaged approach. So this unmanaged approach is actually set aside for experienced programmer, but we'll be talking about why do we need to use unmanaged approach, how to use unmanaged approach water submission, and working with unmanaged water methods. So we'll not be going in too much on this topic today, uh, but when we will discuss uh, about this unmanaged approach on that session, we will cover everything we need to cover at this level. And uh, we will move into add-ons. So don't worry about if you don't have a, you know experience on that much knowledge about add-ons, but uh, we will give you an introduction to add-ons. Where do we need to use add-ons? An introduction to NT window, custom program NT window to display various messages or information. So you have seen many times if there is an error or some kind of you know message Ninja Trader 8 platform gives you, you know, window kind of pops out. So that is kind of a good example of what is anti window. But you can customize it for different reasons. And also then we will move into a custom programmer add-ons using Visual Studio. 
This is also a complex topic, but don't worry. The way we actually conduct our training sessions, so we will cover everything, make it very simple for all of you guys. We will actually look into Ninja Trader 8 add on development overview, which is available within uh, Help Guide, and then also we'll explore and analyze Ninja Trader 8 Visual Studio solution for add on development. And we'll kind of go through what is in there, what is it about, and we will talk about that. And also, we'll explore different existing exposed methods and how to use them so we'll learn how to protect your source codes for uh, of add-ons so if you have got some add-ons we'll show you actually you can protect your source codes of those add-ons okay so after that we will talk about add-on to perform check from server so we have split this topic into two as you can understand from what we are talking about so we will create an add-on which will actually communicate with the server and return a value and also we'll we'll custom program a quite simple indicator and incorporate that add-on within that just to show you how you actually can incorporate those kind of add-ons within your indicator or strategy and make those checks with your server and definitely this is the last line that, that is very important discuss various potential practical uses of server checks with add-on in real world and at the end um, we will custom program an automated strategy and we have also split this topic into two uh, but what we have done we have actually incorporated that q and a session within each sessions because instead of having the review session right at the end after we finish this we have included that so that when we are custom programming this strategy we can actually answer all the questions you may have in your mind so we'll try to cover them and we will discuss you know the way we did in um, all other levels so we'll discuss the idea and then we then break it down to different logics and conditions and then we will do the test and trial debug if required and uh, we will try to use two sessions to finish this up right so that is basically the overview of what we'll be covering in this expert level so i believe now you have got a good idea about the topics will be covered um, so that you understand what to expect from this level 